Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera, salam Sarawak Maju Makmur and uh, salam Sarawak Lestari. Uh, fellow speakers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. The Right Honourable Premier of Sarawak, Tan Sri Datuk Batinggi Abang Haji Abdul Rahman Zohari, Ben Tun Abang Haji Openg, uh, has launched the Post-Covid Development Strategy 2030 with the targets by 2030 that Sarawak will be a thriving society driven by data and innovation where everyone enjoys economic prosperity, social inclusivity and a sustainable development. Ladies and gentlemen, Pustaka Negeri Sarawak is very much honoured to be entrusted by the Right Honourable Premier to lead the Awareness and Advocacy Initiatives of the Government of Sarawak regarding the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 agreed by the United Nations so that we can ensure the, that everybody and every part of the community will be, in, will be included into this sustainable movement. We are actually working on Lestari, Sarawak Lestari or Sustainable Sarawak and today we are organizing the Sustainable Sarawak Webinar Series 2030 with the theme Empowering Underserved Communities, Digital Literacy, Economic Integration and Artificial Intelligence Equity in pursuit of the Sustainable Development Goals. It is chosen in order to focus especially on those who are underserved. The Sustainable Development Goals 2030 number one, no poverty in all its forms everywhere is actually very important but if you look overall all the 17 goals set up under SDG 2030 are very important and very basic in order for us to achieve a sustainable earth and a sustainable humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to organize our communities into deeper understanding of the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 so that everyone will be able to translate these goals into their everyday life. Because the bottom line of the climate change and the pollution of our environment are actually the collective acts of every individual who in their everyday life produce waste which if not managed sustainably will go into the system some affect our drains our rivers into the oceans and especially plastics would be turned plastic in other organisms as animals marine and enter our machine and then will go back to us human. Apart from it will affect climate system that has contributed to warming and will change the sea levels and the rain patterns that will affect the other uh, living creatures on earth including plants, our forests and also our everyday life and our cities and community centers. We are indeed very fortunate to have collaborators such as Emerald Publishing, the Management and Science University and also World Catalyst Research Network that work closely with us 
to ensure the success of our uh, Sustainable Sarawak webinar series this year. I would like to convey my gratitude and thanks to everyone, including all participants in attendance of our program this year. We hope that together we will work towards mainstreaming the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 so that it can be translated into everyone's everyday life. We should think and speak in the language of humanity, not in the language of capitalists or in the language of sectoral political segmentation so that we will be able to move as a group human beings to ensure the continuity of our species and the prosperity of the world at large that live on this beautiful planet of Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, I would like to wish everyone a successful webinar. Thank you very much.